have a dream on you. So what are you doing to him? Eh? What are you doing in the stomach? Like that? That is they are doing on you in the night must stop. Brother, they are trying to feed you in the night when you are asleep. He's there. Huh? He's there. This thing happens every night. He's there. Touch it. You are free. Sister, God will fight for you, you hear me? Yeah, me too. Huh? You know, you want to take your husband away? Huh? Hey, where now? Huh? You don't, you don't want her to have a husband? Huh? You have a demon. You have a demon. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Stop it. Crimes must go. I stop it. Touch your stomach. What will happen? Bring this lady. Hey. Huh? Manjosi. 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 Take your side, little man. Come on. Yes. You're a pastor? Yes. From where? From Lord Report. Lord Report? Yeah. So you're coming here for the first time? Yes. For impartation? Yes. And from there? What's up? How did you become a pastor? God told me to start a ministry. How did God tell you? Through vision and dreams. So why, why is not telling you anything now? He's speaking, but he, that's why I came here for direction. Why is not giving you direction? Because I know if he, he can use you to speak through me as well. So that's why I'm here, Papa. Please help me. You, 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 you know you're a strong person. You don't fall. Uh, it's not true. That's true. And uh, now you are surprised you are falling. Huh? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't understand why people, you don't believe it. Because me now, I'm praying for you. How many times you fall? Five times? Yeah. Oh. Because I'm, I'm praying so that you understand that when the power of God comes, you won't contain the power. If you are able to contain the power of God, it means you are weak. Which church are you going? Yes. You come here? Yes. From when? Um, I 
don't remember. But I started coming here since 2016. Hold your chest. All your problems are over in Jesus' name. Come on. So you're doing what? Stop this thing that is happening to you. This thing must stop you. Come out, this thing. Fight it, what I will. What for pain, eh? For pain, yeah, but. Eh? I'm not sure that. That's a good thing. Cut it. Yeah, you're free. Stop. This thing here must be. Touch the stomach. In Jesus' name. You're free. Do you want to marry? Yeah, already married. Already married? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. When did you marry? Uh, 2021, 5 February. We need to break a case. Yes. Of marry and remarry. Okay. Yeah, that can happen here. Yes. There's a problem here. Yeah. Your relationship is having problems. It's not true. It's, huh? it's true. Yeah, you can separate. Yeah, people can separate. Look, you have a small baby. And this is a, a generational case. From your family. Amen. Yeah. This lady does not trust you. Amen. It's true, eh? Amen. Yeah? Yes. She doesn't trust you. This She's aware that you can do anything. Amen. It's not true. It's true. You can do anything. Amen. And this lady, if I, I'm just saying this not to embarrass you. We need to stop this thing today. Amen. You understand? Yes. You build trust to each other. Amen. Me, I was not seeing marriage here. Amen. Because you are fighting. Amen. Amen. It's not true. It's true. You are fighting serious. Amen. Amen. That you sometimes go away. Amen. Hug your wife. So who want to ask forgiveness between you two? The one. You want to ask forgiveness? Yes. Of what? For everything that has been happening. Everything you mean what the sun was coming from there? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean everything that was happening? Because the sun was moving. There was a moon, the clouds, the rain. What is happening? Mm. 
Because we need to bring trust back from this woman. This woman, she's no longer trusting. Amen. Yeah. And you have a small child. Yeah, we've got two kids. I'm talking about the small one. Yeah. Amen. So, what are you saying? Honestly, on my side, I don't know. No. Tell her. Yeah. Tell, tell this woman. Honestly, on my side, I don't know what was what was happening in my life. Yes. That's All why. Right. We, yeah. That's why um, we came here today. We are from Nelspreet. How? We stayed there. I'll yeah. give glory to God. I mean, yeah. yes. Today, when we came at the gate, they said, "No, it's already late. The gate, the gates are closed. We we're supposed to go back." I was even thinking of. Um, because I was supposed to go back to work on Sunday. Yes. I was even thinking of um, booking a sick note so that I can come here on Sunday because I know that there are problems, but I didn't know what, what is going on. My financially, it's always a crisis. I'm getting paid, but I don't know what is happening. Let's not talk about your finance. Yes. Let's talk about here. This woman is not happy with you. Yeah, So, but I don't know on my side. I, I always ask her, what is, what is it that I'm not doing? Right? Tell her why you're not happy. He's not honest. Are you honest? I'm honest to her. <laughs> so can you see when I say the marriage will break? Yeah. Can you see that? Mm. Because you are honest according mm. to your own right. Yes. And this woman can see you're not honest. It's mm. a curse. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Yes, uh, sister. This man is right. He doesn't know. Amen. He's under a curse. Amen. What you have to do here is to forgive each other. Amen. You understand? Forgive each other, you carry on. Amen. And it's then money will come. But the money will never come when you are not honest. She's right, you are not honest. Amen. Yeah. There's a lot that you, you are doing that I don't want to say it to you. Amen. Amen. My brother. You cannot embarrass each other. Amen. You hear me? God loves you. From today, you bring your wife so close and you respect this man now. Amen. Amen. Because you're no longer respecting him. Amen. What is it, Amen? Amen is your brother. <laughs> amen, man of God. Huh? It's true, man of God. So you respect this man. You love this woman. You understand? Yes. Money will come. Money will come. Money is going to come. You're a businessman. You Amen. love to do business. Amen. You're going to be rich yourself. Amen. You hear me, my brother? Amen. You're going to be rich. As long as you have got this one wife. Amen. You take care of your wife. You, yeah. you, you make sure that you, you stop all this friendship. Amen. Because you have got many friends. Yeah. It's easy for you to make friends. Amen. So you, you Amen is your brother. <laughs> man of God. You, you stop all your the friendships all friendship you understand Amen. because this lady is no longer trusting she thinks you are also cheating Amen. Amen. it's not true it's true eh? it's true man she thinks you are also cheating she, there's a lot of problems you mm. understand brother I cannot say many things here God loves you hug your wife and, and ask each other forgiveness you kiss kiss again it's a long time you are not kissing Kiss more. <laughs> Satan is defeated. <laughs> Satan doesn't want you to kiss your wife. My brother, from now on, me, I'm giving you a month. Amen. All things will turn around like this. Amen, man of God. You understand? I receive it in Jesus' name. Uh, all things will turn around. You can even book here. You don't go because you had that mind. But, uh, or you can go back to Nice Spirit. As you have small children. Amen. May I advise you can go back to next prayer and check within a month what will happen to you. Amen. You will Men come back here with a testimony. I'll definitely come back. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday life service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Makadanisa. And standing with me here today is my family who were located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon their lives. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay. I, I'm Richard Indlovu. I come from Nelspreet. I, I, work, I actually work in Nelspreet. I'm from Bushpark Ridge, Mkutlu. Standing uh, beside me is my wife, 
and my, my beloved daughter. My wife is Mapasiga Masango, and my daughter there, Tato uh, Entle uh, So today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, um, the Apostle, he prayed for me first, then I, I went through. Then uh, when my wife came, then uh, he asked my wife, where is your husband? Then I came, then he said, no, I don't see the marriage here. Of which uh, it was true, we had a lot of fights. My wife, she, she said, she mentioned, even mentioned to me that she don't trust me. And uh, myself, I didn't know what was going on. Because uh, I believe that I was, I'm not cheating to her. Yes, I do have friends, a couple of friends. Sometimes she was receiving messages uh, at my phone. But the cheating was not, uh, I, I was not doing it. So, but she had a trust issue to the point where our marriage was really suffering. So I didn't know what to do. That's why we decided to come here. Um, when we arrived at the gate, then they said uh, the pastor already closed. No one is coming in unless we've got an appointment. But luckily enough, then later the security guard said, no, we can come in. So I believe God had a special uh, message for us, uh, for, for, for me. And whatever the prophets mentioned today, it was true. So, and I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I feel relieved after that prophecy that uh, the prophet mentioned because I was worried to the point uh, at other times I've, I felt confused. Yeah, even my wife, I will tell her that I'm, I'm so stressed. I don't know what's going on with my life. To the point where I end up uh, sleeping with the tablets. Every day I will take tablets. At times she will even hide the tablets from me because uh, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I will have to get the tablets. Mm, financial side was also an issue. Every month it excuses. I'm getting paid, but I don't know where's my money going. We're even struggling to pay rent and, and all those stuff. So all these things, it was affecting our, our marriage. Yes. And how has it affected you? It has affected us a lot in a way that our marriage was not was no longer nice. We were always fighting a lot. And there was no happiness in our marriage. So we really thank God for locating us today. And we trust and believe in God that all things are, are, are well. Amen. And so how do you feel that today the men of God located you, ministered upon your life, and even prayed for you? I'm, 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 I'm so, I feel so blessed. I'm so relieved. And uh, I believed everything that the man of God mentioned to me, um, it's already happening. I already see everything that is said uh, to us happening. I see our marriage uh, revive, uh, re being revived. I see the joy, I see a lot of things, a lot of bl blessings coming on our way, everything that is just mentioned. Uh, as he already mentioned that there was a case, I, I, yes, I believe that there was something wrong. There was a case. So, and I'm glad that that case now, it has been broken today. So I'm so relieved, I'm very excited. Yeah, I don't even regret coming uh, for, my, for my, and I believe that we're going to come back and give the testimony. As the prophet already mentioned, it gave us a month that we're going to see a lot of difference in a month. So I believe that we're going to come back and give the testimony. Amen. Such a stomach. You are not free. Come. Hey, sister, don't overtake. Come. Touch your stomach, sister. Let me touch you at the back. You're, you're not free. You, you have a spirit. Come on. Come. How old are you now, sister? You will marry. I want you to marry. You will marry and shame the enemy. Well, when I was hearing the demon in your family, that fight marriages. This short man. Yes. Amen. There's a demon in your family that doesn't want people to marry. Amen. Huh? I, I don't understand. I said, there's a demon in your family. I'm seeing a demon that fight marriages. Amen. So you must pray against that demon. Amen. So that that demon must not attack you. Hallelujah. You understand? Pray against that demon. Amen. Listen, anointing comes after you have overcome the demon of the family. Hallelujah. 
If, if you are still battling with the demon of the enemy, mm. you will cry to be anointed, that demon will come and take everything. Yeah. You hear me? So yeah, if, if you want to be used by God, mm. overcome the demon of the family. Amen. You understand? Amen. The demon of the family doesn't want marriages. Amen. The marriages that are there, struggling, struggling, struggling. Amen. There's a lot of poverty. Mm. You understand? So you... You begin to say in the name of Jesus, this demon in my family, I destroy it. Amen. You are going to overcome. Amen. And if you overcome now, you will know why this demon is attacking your family. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. So, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is uh, Mr. Uh, Pastor Lebudi from Botswana. So today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. The apostle said that uh, but, uh, the demon that uh, tormented my, 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 my family was the marriage. So that I, he said that we have to pray for that uh, and we are be okay. And are you aware of this? Uh, uh, yes, I, I do aware of it because I've got two children, but uh, another one is 32 and another one is 20, is 30 at this time, uh, but they're not married. And so then, he said that I have to pray hard uh, in order for them to overcome, to overcome this uh, demon. And so how has it affected you seeing your kids not getting married? Uh, I've, I've seen it, uh, I've seen it very, I'll take it uh, so very simple. Simpler as that, but uh, I know I, I have heard that uh, it's, a, it's a demon behind our family. Yeah. So then I will try to make sure that I'm praying for that demon. Yeah. Because he said that uh, if I'm, I don't pray, he's going to take uh, even the anointing from me. Mm. So I'll be okay. I'll pray. And but how do you feel that today the apostle located you and spoke this upon your life and even advised you that you need to pray? I'm very, very happy because I didn't know that they were all allocate me. Yeah. I was just here, you know. Yeah, but it's, it's okay. It's very nice. Yeah.